Righto, it's Monday again, and it's time to clean the car. Look at that, one race is dead, and look at the state of it. Got two hours cleaning for two minutes for. There well, here we go. That done. <laughs> it took an hour with two of us on the job. Now that's done. Alright, let's get inside. Put it away. What bad timing. I worked my nose on Saturday night at the, at the, at the, uh, at the meeting. And then uh, yesterday, I've had to submit my passport application. So now I've got this picture on my passport for the next 10 years. <laughs> Trippy. Right, it's Tuesday already and uh, we've got the car cleaned and uh, on the ramp. And this engine is running, but not very well. So we're not happy with it. It's okay, but it's not brilliant. So we're going to put that engine in. That's it. That's my engine I've been waiting for all year and it's back. So we're going to put that engine to Jake's car so he can race this weekend and I won't bother. Uh, this would get Jake out, that's, that, that's our plan. So, uh, for tonight, let's get this engine out and uh, do a swap. Let's go on then. First one's out. Hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on. Starting motor on the wrong side, but we can sort that out tomorrow. And we're going to go home. That'll do for tonight. We'll uh, call it a day and uh, hopefully get it running tomorrow night. Yeah, there, Jake. <laughs> Just the radiator. One silencer. And it should start. We'll do the gearbox and bellows in tomorrow, shall we? Get it going, then we'll start it tomorrow. Uh, sorry, ruin it tomorrow. Just got um, we've done an engine swap we've took uh, the engine that we rebuilt we've took it out because it wasn't very running very well at bradford so we put the new engine in that's just come back from rebuild and that it that's not running right either so um to say we're disappointed is an understatement we've just spent a lot of money uh, on both engines and uh, neither of them are running right so our next move is unknown we don't know what to do next uh, we could put the tarmac engine back in uh, take it back out and put the tarmac engine in the shower car so jake can do kings in this weekend but the, uh, looking at the schedule, we've got two shales, then uh, Hensford, then another shale, then, then the 25 to Skegness. So it doesn't quite work, work right if we're swapping engines. We've got to do a lot of the engine swapping. So uh, right at this very moment, we're not sure what to do. So uh, we're going to sleep on it and uh, see what we're going to do tomorrow. So Saturday morning, coming to work in the dark. And we've got to work out what we're going to do with these engines after work tonight. Uh, that's the one we built. It's not running right from Bradford. That's the one we just had rebuilt, and it just weren't running right last night at all. The only engine we've got is that engine, the 427 that's been in all three cars this year. A good old faithful. We might have to put that into this car tonight so Jake can race on Saturday. So we're on the option, I think. I'll wait for him to get in, we'll discuss it, see what we're going to do after work. What a pain in the ass. Time look here, Sophie. Well, it's out. So, um, now we've got to get that one out and put it in that car. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one, Jake? It's uh, it's not going well, is it, mate? What we're going to do now? We're going to take the engine plates off this one. That's the tarmac engine. That engine's been in all three cars, you said, Jake, isn't it? This year. That's the one we built ourselves at the beginning of the year. It's been good all year. It's been in all three cars. And, um, we're going to put that one in the uh, in the shower car for this weekend, 
Uh, two weekends we've got the Norton Shale, and then we've got Hensford, and then another Shale, and then another Tarmac. So we've got to swap that engine uh, another three or four times yet if we're going to use one engine, unless we get them two fixed. Um, we can't use that car because the, the bumpers and nerfs are wrong just to chuck it on Shale. We can't just do that. It's not as easy as that. Right, we're going to uh, call it a day for today and um, get that engine in that car tomorrow so we can race on Saturday. That's our plan. Okay, put the small block out the Tama car into the shower car and we have spent all afternoon on it because it's been a wet, horrible, rainy day. It's chucked it down with rain, so it's uh, it's not been a yeah, problem for us to have a couple of hours, knock off a couple of hours early and get the job done. So the 427 is in, we've just had it running. Uh, we're gonna drop it off the uh, off the off the bench, off the off the ramp and give it a ride around the yard, spin the wheels, carry lens and all you say to us, spin the wheels. Uh, the the um, the engine that's been rebuilt has been fetched. He's sent uh, the engine builder sent someone down to fetch it this morning. So that's, he's been brilliant about it. He's been like, no problem. I'll look at it. I'll fetch it back. So he's fetched it already. So uh, that's really really good of him. He's been fantastic. So we've got an engine in it anyway. So at least we can race this weekend. Uh, that engine's gone in that car. So we've had three engines in this car this week. So let's uh, let's hope for a bit of a uh, bit of luck and a bit of success for tomorrow. So we make it it's hope it's worthwhile. It's just stopped raining. So we're going to. Um, Go ride right around the yard and then we're going to knock off and uh, me and Jake have been invited to go and present the trophies at the stock car, Microsoft Stock Car Club tonight. So we're going to uh, go and have some tea and go over there for a drink. There's smoking out this side and uh, we didn't realise that this is, this arms has got uh, got wet and it's got full of antifreeze and water from last time we blew this engine up. Last time we did these arms, uh, it's a good job that this is uh, an engine that we know is good, otherwise we'll be blaming the engine thinking the engine's smoking, but it's not. <laughs> Tarmac engine, that's a good engine, and we've got a car ready for tomorrow night, so uh, we're going to call it a day and go home and go for a beer tonight, and then um, we'll load it tomorrow. So tomorrow night goes. It's brilliant, just like that. All that uh, went on, so it's cleared and it's not smoking anymore. Having too much fun. When we first started, Gary Lenton helped us out for the, for the first few years. And he always said to us, spin the wheels, spin the wheels. Obviously, make sure the gearbox is working, the clutch is working, the half shafts are working. And uh, we always try and do that when we can, spin the wheels. <laughs> Show me a car. Ah, one by one. You Josh Smith, though? Yes. Is it your relation? Yeah, he's my uncle. I thought so. There you go, Josh. There you go. So I'm cheering you tonight. Are you in the final? No. You're in the consultation now, then? No. I didn't make any of them. Can you do make the consultation either? Ah, broke the engine. Oh, no. <laughs> So that's it, meeting over for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we're used to that. We're used to that. We'd have this in there all our lives. Good luck next time. Thank you. Boy, they're fast. Can't believe that look, can you? And um, we've got two races for the uh, consolation, so it looks like we're going to miss the consolation now. They're all have to try and get the clutch out, so we're all on board and uh, see if we can get it out next uh, for, for consolation, otherwise, we're going to miss the final as well. Well, 
Uh, we changed the clutch between uh, the heat and the consolation and it's still doing the same, it's grinding. So I've been to see Dave, he hasn't got a clutch with him, Mark Gilbank hasn't got one, and nor has NFR, they haven't got clutches with them, but I've got a spare one here. A uh, second hand one I bought off uh, Ed Nietzsche a couple of years ago. So the only thing we can do is send him out in this race, he's sitting in the car waiting to go and uh, see if he can do a race. If not, we might have to change the clutch again. I can't believe this. The second on the restart, and he's got no clutch. Come on, Jackie. Again, so uh, it doesn't matter the final, so we're going to whack this clutch, second hand clutch in and see if we can get out of the Grand National. Here we go again. Thank you.